but now we're going to go into more detail. In this segment, you're going to show us how you work with the photographs in your computer. Then in the next one, we get to start doing some actual thread painting. That's correct. And the reason we're doing this is because you can take the best photographs in the world, but sometimes you need a little bit of help, especially yes. when you very, very first start this process. And so what I'm going to show you right now is how to take your images, put them on your computer, and get them at the best possible spot for you to begin sewing. Okay, and this is sort of a training wheels more compared yes. to what you're doing, right. but it helps people to map out where the color areas are is really what you're aiming for. Exactly. In doing this. Okay. Exactly, yeah. So basically what I do, again, is I take a photograph and then I import the photograph into my computer and um, use Photoshop. Um, I use Photoshop CS5. There's, uh, that's the latest Photoshop that's out there, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, many of you will want to pick up Adobe Elements. Now it's 10. I and, have that. Yeah, and that one actually is really reasonable in price. Yeah. And so I think you can get it for under $100. And that will do the same thing that you're doing here? It will do the same thing I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not as many bells and whistles. I have a feeling that's what you're saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even I don't know how to really work Adobe Photoshop. But for our yeah. purposes, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our image and we're going to want to posterize it. And that's going to separate different colors into different spaces so that we can see what color thread we want to put in each spot. Ah, sort of paint by numbers. In a way, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the beginning. Mm -hmm. What I have done is over the period of time that I've been working on quilts, now my eye is gotten to the point where I don't need to have the separate sections of color. I just look at it and start grabbing threads. And that's when you really blend. But before we blend, we need to understand where the colors go. So that's just experience, and experience and confidence because you've done it. Yes. This is a quilt that I'm going to start working on fairly soon. And it's very interesting because this woman works in a grocery store. In a store. grocery store. She does, yeah. And the title of the quilt, I think, is going to be The Future of America. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, she is beautiful. She's beautiful, She's... but this is kind of where we're all headed. It is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zero in on the image so that you can really see the detail in her face. You know what I'm seeing already, and I never think of this when I look at people, but there are a lot of different colors in her face and in areas, because I know where we're, we're headed because we talked about it first, but there are different areas of color. Right. Well, you know, you've got, you've got more red in the yeah. cheeks over here. There's yellow, there's green. Right. Really? And so there's just all sorts of detail and right here in her crease, I mean, that's going to be a dark brown mm -hmm. just to get that detail happening. 